Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, here's a question that comes up again and again. People are asking, how do I make my slider full screen? So it's full width and the full depth of the screen here. I've got one here and it's automatically scrolling to the next ones. And as you can see, it's the full width of my screen and the full height. Really easy to do. There's no coding involved in this today. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. And I'm going to delete the section that we've got here. OK, well, let's add a new section. Little blue button to add a new section. I'm going to simply click on it. I'm actually going to use a full width section for this today. Well, we've got a limited amount of modules for the full width. You can always use all the modules and make a row full width that way. But full width se sections will give you these options here. Here's a full width slider. Let's pop that in there. And if I roll down, there it is. And it's great. It's full width, which is fantastic. But it's not stretching the whole width of our screen. And I want it to be the full depth of the screen, whatever device they're using. So to make that happen, let's go over to our design tab here. We can go down to sizing. If we roll down, we've got height. In the height, I'm going to put 100 VH for 100 viewable height. So it's 100 VH. And you may have noticed that that is now the full height of our screen. And whatever device they're looking on, it will be the full height because it's 100 viewable height and our contents are still aligned nicely in there. OK, well, let's make this a little bit more interesting and I'll show you how you can automate it, get the slides to change automatically. But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this section up the top. So let's save what we've got here. To move sections around really easy rather than dragging them on top of each other, we can hit the little purple button here. There's a little icon here, little layers icon. If I click on it, it pops open. There's our section. You may notice that a full width section is a different color from a regular section. It's purple there. To move it, just simply select it. And now we're at the top with our full width slider there. Fantastic. Just an easier way of moving sections. OK, well, let's close that back up and let's make this slider a bit more interesting. So I'm going to go into the slider itself, dark tab for the module. It's given us two slides to play with. Let's get rid of the second one. I'm going to go into the first one. Obviously, put what you want your slide to say there. There's a call to action button. Put what you want the call to action button to say there. We got a regular text field down here for your content, as you see here. And you can align, bold, italicize, make bullet lits. Put a title in there for a subtitle or something like that if you want to. You can even add media if you want to. I'm going to leave mine just as it is. You can add images and video. If you add an image and video, you'll find that the video appears on the left hand side or the image and the text will appear on the right. I'm happy with mine to be just like that. OK, moving on down, we've got a link. Here's the button link. Obviously, you can link that to where you want to take people when they click on the button. And if you want to put one in the module link there, anywhere they click on the slider will take them to this URL. Always best practice. If you're linking to your own site, keep it in the same window. If you're linking off site, somebody else's website, put it in a new tab. That way your site's going to stay open. Fantastic. Well, this is the bit that I want the background right here. And you've got the usual fantastic Divi options. You've got color, gradient, image, video background, background pattern, or background mask. And you can combine several of these together. If you want to learn more about that, have a look at my video on background. OK, I'm going to throw in an image. Let's pop that one in. That's what I used last time. And obviously, you can style your titles and everything like that. Over in the design tab, I'm going to leave mine exactly as they are. But you've got your regular text, which will do all the text at once. 
title and subtitle there. Below you've got the title text. And of course Divi has an absolutely crazy amount of fonts. To audition one, just roll over it, it'll give you an example. But as I said, I'm going to leave mine on the default there. Just for fun, let's make it a little bolder so you can see the title a bit better there. There we go. And of course, if you want to style the button itself, you can go in there, hit the custom styles for the button and make it any way you want. Again, I'm going to leave mine just as it is. So I'm happy with my first slide there. Once you save your site, it'll take you back to the main full width slider settings here. I'm simply going to duplicate this because I want the same styling on each of them. If you don't, then create each one individually and you can go to town. Let's go into the second and third. And all I'm going to do is change the backgrounds on those so you can see the difference. And then I'll show you how to automate the slider itself. So let's go into the second one. I'm going to go down to the background. Let's again throw in an image. Choose use this one this time. Yeah, that works. I can see everything okay. Let's just save that. We'll go into the third one. Back into the main full width slider settings. Slide number three. Again, I'm going to go to image. Now let's throw in that one. There we go. Okay, that's a pretty busy image right there. So what I'm going to do is blend it with a color so that our text and button stands out a bit better. To do that, just go over to the color and you can do this with a gradient as well if you wish. I'm going to go to the color. Let's pop in a purple. Obviously you use whatever color you want. Now let's go back to the image and we've got some options. If we roll down a little bit, we've got some background image blend options. I'm going to flip mine to multiply, which will multiply that purple color with our image here. There we have it. We still got that nice detailed image, but our text stands out a lot better. And they really do have some fantastic options down here, like saturation and luminosity. And you can get some amazing effects. So do check some of these out. But for mine today, I'm going to stick to multiply. Great. So let's animate this slider. I'm going to save everything. I'm going to presume that we've got all the slides that we want here. Back in the main full width slider settings, we now want to go over to the design tab, all the way down to the bottom, and you'll find animation. Now this is a little com confusing. Animation style is not the animation for the actual slider itself. That's when it comes in initially when the page loads, whether you want to have none or fade in or slide in. It's not the animations between the slides. Animations for the slide is automatic animation down below. So let's flip that switch to on. Animation speed is the time that each slide is going to stay there. The default's 7,000 milliseconds, which is seven seconds. Let's speed it up to perhaps five seconds or 5,000 milliseconds. I want it to continue automatic slide on hover. Or rather, I should say, I don't want it to continue automatic slide on hover. That way, if somebody puts their mouse on it, it'll stop sliding and they can read the text, give them a chance to look at the image or click the button if they need to. If you want it to keep rolling, just switch that to on. OK, as far as I'm concerned, I think we're all good to go with that. Let's save our changes here. Go down to the little purple button at the bottom again, and we'll save our changes there. Well, let's go up and exit the Visual Builder. And here's our full width, full screen slider. And as you can see, every four seconds, it's rolling down to our next slide. And there we have it. If I roll down, you'll see that our regular sections are just below that. But that is a wonderful feature to have on your site really easy to do as you can see that question comes up quite a lot so there you go guys there's how to make your full width slider full screen also i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful don't forget if you've got any questions pop them below the video i'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching 
have a great day.